Well, thank you for joining into our January news station. I have, wait a minute, you are not Mari. Not so Mari. Are you? you could call me not Mari or you could call me Ryan. I'm filling in for Mari while she's busy making a baby. That is true. And we don't know how long she's going to be out, but Mari, come back, please. Fast. Thank please. you. And thank you. Anyways, let's talk about the market. Let's talk about the market. Okay, in the month of January, Contra Costa County had about 431 sales across the county. Now, the average price of all those sales is about $860,000. All right. Now, here's the good news. We've been talking about this sweet spot. We know that the market's changed a little bit. Over half of those sales, the average price was $680,000 or less. So that window of opportunity that we've been yeah. talking about for buyers to come in, we've seen it. Now it's starting to close a little bit. We'll talk about that a little bit more, but let's go ahead and give you a few more numbers in terms of uh, what's going on with the county. Highest price, Blackhawk, no surprise, a little over $9.25 million. Yeah, it's $9.2 million, not a big deal. You know, and then we had a little guy, a little feller in Richmond, one bedroom, one bath, it's a condo, sold for about 165000 so we know Contra Costa County, we got low, we got really high, and we've got everything in the middle, but let's drill down into East County a little bit with Chris. Awesome, well thank you, Ryan, I appreciate that. So East Contra Costa County, as always, right? Last month, yeah, 175 sales. Now, of those sales, the average sales price was 638,000. Now, if you've been paying attention to our news station, that's $100,000 less than our peak in 2022. Now. Before we go too crazy into this and the market's crashing, let's just take this into consideration. It is the first month of the year and it's also just the sales of that month. So that doesn't mean we had any high priced homes or anything else on the market. Now, reality of it though is half of those were under $625,000, right? So the affordability is still here in East Contra Costa County. Now, current listings right now are right around 40% of Contra Costa County currently, which is the most we saw in general of any month of last year or this month. So there's more houses hitting the market in East Contra Costa County, which means there's more opportunities for buyers to find a property they like. And the reality of it is the market is starting to see a little bit of an uptick, which is good in a positive way. And I'll explain why. We don't want pricing to drop too much. We want pricing to kind of bottom out, level in, and then let buyers kind of come back into the market. And we've seen a huge uh, increase of buyer demand with interest rates dropping to low sixes and at some parts even low or, or high fives, excuse me. So the reality of it is, is the market is starting to become a normal, healthy market and that's what we expect in 2023 for you.